Runs the scissors, ascending star. Runs the scissors, ascending star. Runs the scissors, ascending star. Power drivers now. I mean, runs the scissors, ascending star. Run, runs the scissors, ascending star. Power drivers now. Power drivers now. Power drivers now. Power drivers now. Shiver me timbers 12,000. Shiver me timbers 12,000. Shiver me timbers 12,000. Power drivers now. Power drivers now. Power drivers now. Shiver me timbers 12,000. Runs the scissors, ascending star. Okay, girls. This is part two of the torment to Titanic Claire. I want you to make sure. that this starts at 12 a.m. again my time around the clock I also want you to make sure girlies that you use all witches and warlocks for this around the world the, the curse Cory with this succubus spells I want you to also put bombs on Lucifer and his principality power punks so they can be distracted when you put these realities in because they are manipulating reality too. And God doesn't like that. But I want you to do that. I'll pray to the Father to put so you can I'll pray to the Father Jesus Christ that you can put these bombs at Satan and his principality power punks and I'll ask him for a special bombing like anointing so these guys can get distracted. And I'll also pray for you girls to have so this lab. Okay. Um, this is part two. And it's called What a Wicked Game You Play. Chris Isaac is going to, uh, there's going to be a Chris Isaac lookalike waiter, waiter for this. And the and the cafe, because they're going to go to the cafe, Sharon Corey lookalike. Uh, so, uh, it's called, uh, and it's called, um, one second, man. Uh, start the night with Whitney Dukes to come to Corey's house with Ariana Grande, the real one. Whitney is crying a lot, hysterically. Ariana is just hugging her to calm her down. Whitney says her Hil says her says her friends Hilda and Allegro are having relationship issues. They they asked her to leave their house. She come. She has nowhere to go. She asks Corey if she can stay for a while at his house until her friends and their fighting and both Ariana and Whitney come inside with their occult stuff like tarot cards, leaf reading, Ariana's witchcraft books or whatever she has, Wicca. The ladies sit down at Corey's house. Ariana just talks about how lovely Corey is about his kindness to his courtesy of letting Whitney stay with him for a while. One second. It's like a movie. One second. Then Ariana says, I ran into Whitney when I was shopping for anything Harry Potter. She was so sad. I had to take her with me to cheer her up. Then if Corey asked Whitney about her about Sharon, and Sharon disappearing like that the other night, with him, having have Whitney say, Corey, you must be watching too much horror movies, baby. You should really watch Babysitter on Netflix. Very awesome movie. It's like Home Alone with Satanists. Very creepy, very funny. Ariana is like, oh yeah, that movie is so good. Badly good. And, and a clown that looks like it's from American Horror Story Freak Show season peeks through the window in the dark night. The girls scream aloud. Ariana and Whitney run to Corey, feeling a lot more better because he's a guy. There, Whitney says, maybe we should call the cops. Ariana agrees, shaking her head. Corey goes outside, sees nothing but black cats meowing, a loud screeching. Chasing rats or something. The Corey goes back in his house, and there is that man with a camera from Lost Highway saying, Hi, Corey, may I introduce myself? I'm always near you. One second. I'm always near you. I'm always near you. I'm your deepest, darkest fears and secrets. I'm inside your parents' house. Call me on my phone at your parents' house while using my cell phone. He calls Corey's parents pick up. Uh, the, he calls Corey. Uh, uh, Corey calls uh, his parents. Pick uh, the parents pick up the phone and they, and they 
they say, and they say, Corey, hello, have you come out of the closet yet? Your mother and I are very concerned about your suicide, your, about you being suicidal. You need to talk to us, Corey. It's hurting your mother tremendously. Please come out of the closet, Corey, so we can buy you a new Barbie dolls, new dress, and buy you some clueless movie merchandise for you. Goodbye, you gay lover. The phone hangs up, and the guy with the camera starts laughing maniacally, says, Give me back my phone. Like the movie Lost Highway. I'll be watching you, Corey. Ariana and Whitney come running. Uh, oh, the crazy, the evil guy that looks like a guy from Lost Highway. He disappears just like that. Opens the door and closes it quietly and leaves. And then it says, Cor Ariana and Whitney come running inside, screaming, saying, What just happened? Corey takes a shower. Ariana goes inside the restroom with him. She's looking at him, saying, How come, Corey, you mind control people like women? Does that turn you on? Exclamation mark, question mark. Or do I turn you on? Matt Bennett always says you love underage girls. Like Girls Gone Wild DVDs. Why haven't you made a pass at me at age 16? Question mark. She goes in the shower with him, kissing his chest with her hand on him, saying, I want you so badly, Corey. I took Whitney with me to find out where you live. Now I want you to have me. I love you. I love you, you sexy beast. Okay, here's another one. Then Corey faints in the shower while Ariana kisses him the next, uh, kisses him. The next morning... Sarah Silverman rings Corey's doorbell and says, Hi, Corey, what's up? Um, she says, Hi, Corey, what's up? Have you been doing... What have you been doing then? Or, or, and then, oh, have you been doing? He, she asks him. Then Whitney says, I gotta go to my job at the diner. Blows a kiss and leaves saying, Ariana had to um, split early to see her friends from the Victorious Cash Show. Like Elizabeth Gillis. Um, so Sarah says, Corey, how about the fires burning us heathens up? Exclamation mark, question mark. In California. Oh, well, maybe we can get a get out of jail free card, huh? Exclamation mark, question mark. Uh, well, the, re the reason I'm here, buddy, is Marilyn, as in Manson, says that you are into men. Did you hear? Did you, did you, or so, into men? Did, did hear, God, did you hear the gods against that sort of thing? Um, someone's person made this video go through, person. Thanks. Him, uh, thing, him and the other, him and the other ladies are talking about you. They're acting, they're acting, they're actually thinking maybe Titanic is uh, the mastermind of COVID-19. Woo! Corey is a mad scientist too. Question, that's my question mark. Well, Corey, just don't lose your day job. Okay, Psycho? And she laughs and says, stay straight. And Corey answers the phone. It's more, it's, it's Marie. Wanting to have that coffee business conversation, uh, they go to go. They go to a cafe in Los Angeles, sweetie, sweeties. They go to a cafe called in Los Angeles. Go get him. Go get him, Tiger. Go to go get him, Tiger Cafe. It's in it's in the Los Angeles area. Uh, they go to go get him, Tiger Coffee in Los Angeles. Chit chatting about how bad her gang member son's anarchy husband is. Um, and um, I'm hoping it's time for this. Then Chris Isaac look like waiter, waiter, waiter. I'm probably not gonna have enough food for sweethearts. I'm praying to God that I do. Then uh, Chris Isaac look like walking in. He's the waiter. Then serves them what they bought. Then Chris Isaac song plays in the cafe very low, playing Wicked Games. Song. Sharon says, 
We ha where have you been ignoring me on our business date? As a measure mark, question mark. Corey is speechless. Then she's talking on her cell phone. Then she gets excited and says, I've won the court battle with my husband. I get the children. Yay! Then Lana Del Rey walks up with Taylor Swift saying, Corey, you eat here? Then Jennifer Lopez walks in, too, so excited to see him, says, Corey, have you met at any award shows? That's my question mark. Then Corey goes to the restroom. Then when Corey, he opens the door to the restroom urinal, it's Jennifer Lopez. She grabs him forcibly, saying, you've ignored me. You caught Molly. Always when I see you all the time at award shows after parties. Don't you want to have sex with me to my ba to uh, baby? Don't you want to have sex to me, baby? So, so she said, I want you, I need you. I need you, Corey. Then Lana comes in and Taylor Swift too saying, What's this? In shock to see this happen, Taylor says that, she says she's shocked to see this, Taylor Swift says that, then Lana Del Rey agrees by nodding, then the two girls say, we want him too, let's have orgy, laughing, grabbing Corey out of the public, <laughs> kissing him and putting their hands and, and legs to his body, pushing him. Like they're going to have sex with him. Both girls lick him head to toe, tickling him after that. I had that done one time, I think. Um, after that, I don't know. After that, Marie's husband comes in and the cafe says, While with Marie, hey! Sex machine, you alright? You wear the, uh, you wear your rubbers? Then he grabs Corey. What did, what did I tell you, Corey? Stop seeing my wife. Actually, divorce, divorce, eh, now. But I still hate it when another man touches her. Whatever, whatever, he says. Then says, sometime, Corey, we need to have a, have a talk. Just you and I, buckaroo. And then he pulls his finger, meaning... That uh, Mr. Uh, Dave takes out his finger, like uh, takes his finger and puts it like a gun, and he goes like this, like he points it at Corey, then winks and leaves. Marie kisses Corey on the mouth. She says, it's official, I want to give you any job, like a high up job, like uh, Island Records, how about Interscope Records? Oh, hey, Virgin Records. And one second, sweetheart. Just call me soon maybe more than just a job she says seductively she wears a midriff top white with a blue jeans and black purse purple cell phone with a harley quinn face cover on the cell phone happy face Th that one, yeah, baby. then corey looks while putting gas to his car he looks overhead to see a fancy Cadillac from a sideway movie. He goes there. He sees Chelsea, nobody's dream girl from Instagram, which is really Moria. And I want you to use Moria. Be careful with her. And he gets pushed by a big bodyguard saying, sorry, sir. Uh, she's uh, taken by Grigor Palenko, the biggest, baddest gangster in all of Europe. Just leave, man. Do yourself a favor. Leave. Then Corey goes home upset and drunk. And then Dave rolls up in his Mustang GT. Says, hey, why the long face, Corey? You want to ride to your house? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my boys. Um, I'm sorry, my boys. Um, what do you say? Oh shoot! Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on, man. 
on them. There you go. Um, I'm sorry that my boys rough you, roughhouse you. I'm sorry that my boys roughhouse you. Sorry, Father. You you know how it is. In Los Angeles, then Corey goes home with Dave to Corey's house. Dave says, watch your back, man, with my wife, then leaves. Then Corey goes inside his house. Then Whitney Duke says, hey, baby, welcome home. How are you doing? Rough day? Same here. My boss yelled at me today. Who cares, she says. Let's watch Netflix, that babysitter movie I was talking about in the series. It's to die for, she says with that. Then when Corey and Whitney are asleep, both Lana Del Rey and Taylor Swift and aggressive Jennifer Lopez, because they're succubuses, this is going to be succubuses type doing this too, stand over, st they stand over him, stare at him while they're naked, kissy facing him like, like Adam like that. And the Robert Blake look-alike from Lost Highway with the black, uh, pale face uh, guy is recording this, looking at him too, then walks out quietly, closes Corey's door quietly, and then stops for five seconds. Then the evil man starts laughing. <laughs> and that's over. Okay, that's the climax for this weird night for him. And, and next day. The night, the night tonight at 12 a.m., and then through the morning, and then it ends at him right there in the in the night on 12 a.m. Well, I'm sorry, Davey. It ends at night. The climax of nighttime when he goes to sleep next, like Wednesday morning, Wednesday, Wednesday night, it ends there on 12 a.m. But then something else will happen at 12 a.m. that night tomorrow. But the thing is, I will write another weird story for him. And you girls just do the affirmations and the weird stuff like that. And the spells with the warlocks and witches helping him. And putting bombs on Satan and his principality power punks. I'm going to pray right now if there's still time. Oh, thanks. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you to just Christ your son or Savica Gia. Speak of all my sins. Dear Heavenly Father, please place protection on Miss Eva Green, Celine, Miss Hannah, Joy. And please use the witches and warlocks to carry out this spell. May you put a big, strong thousandfold power to these women's witchcraft and the witches and warlocks witchcraft too so this prayer I mean so this spell can be a curse to Mr. Titanic Sinclair and his life so he can learn a lesson not to mess with females I ask all this in Jesus Christ's name and may Mr. Mr. Uh, Satan and his principality power punks be having the blood of Christ on them and then may the bombs that that Eva, Celine, and Hannah, Joy, blast these people, these these um, with the help of the witches and warlocks too, blast Satan and his principality power punks to kingdom come. So the realities will be messed up because they won't pay attention to what the girls are going to be doing, and what the witches and warlocks are going to be doing. I ask all in Jesus Christ's name, and may this be all the way to the last. The first two weeks of October. All this in Jesus Christ's name, man. Thanks, man, for the blessed personal deliverance of your son. Thanks, man. Girls, go to work. And I got another video for you in a couple of minutes. Peace.